What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. And in this one, we have a new Darkman video that dropped yesterday, and it is called Greedy Dad Puts Money Over Daughter. What happens next is shocking. Mm, mm. Put money over your daughter? I mean, that might not go so well. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? We finna check this one out. Original video will always be in the description down below. And while you were down there, if you'd like to follow me on my other channel or any of my social medias, I will greatly appreciate that. And also, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on. That way, you do not miss any of the uploads, baby. And without further ado, let's dive right into this life lesson. Let's get it. Miss Sophie, would you like to buy a cookie? Oh, sure. I'd love to. Did you make these? Yep. Um, my dad helped me. Not, oh. not the episode starting out where the lady's paying oh, for the daughter before the dad was. Holly, what's going on? What happened? She just got a nosebleed. I can walk her over to the nurse's office. It's nothing. She gets them all the time. Are you sure? Yeah. She's oh, hell no. Hold on. Is this, if this is the dad, he's talking about... His daughter just gets nosebleeds all the time and he not taking her to the medical to go get medical attention. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, what? Now you put him. She'll be all right. Okay, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. What kind of dad is this? Thanks for the cookie, Holly. Feel better. She knows she wanted. You ready to go, sweetheart? Chill. Let me chill. <laughs> I have to swing by my office. Let me chill, guys. Wait, Let me chill. <laughs> you promised me you would take me to the mall to buy me a new OMG doll. I know, I know, but I got called in for a meeting at the last minute. So you can do your homework there, and then I'll take you. But you're always working. How do you think I can afford all those dolls, huh? Now come on, pack up and let's go. Okay, well, uh, I mean, we've had this discussion before in a recent Dark Man video, guys. Oh, man, I'll be asking, like, ladies, would you rather have a man that's working all the time or would you rather have a man that's broke? Hmm. I would like to know again in the comments. I love seeing y'all perspective on these things. But also, I guess this is a different perspective. Like, of course, a daughter would want or a son even would want time with their dad. Like the kids, definitely. That's a different story. The kids got to come first. Not all the time. Well, uh, I mean, I don't know because I don't have kids. So let me know, I, I guess, in the comment section as well. What's coming first in that situation, do you guys think? The health question is no problem. Well, but like the shopping and the, the toys and all that. How? You know. What do we talk about? You need to increase your profit margins if you want to be successful. But it's Christmas. Everyone should be able to have their cookies. <laughs> no. No, you should be marking up prices as much as you can. That's how the white folk do it, right? Makes the world go round. But don't people. <laughs> okay, he has the wrong intentions for sure. Not when it comes trying to, to business, finesse sweetheart. People. Business, you need to be a shark. Now come on, pack up and let's go. Let me know if you need anything else, kiddo. Thanks, Georgina. Well, folks, looks like we're projecting oh, a record profit this year going into Q4. But with the economy going down and to keep our board happy, well, we got to tighten our belt a little bit. And uh, that means we're going to have to lay off 25% of our staff. Doesn't that look bad for the company to lay off that many people when profits are up, especially during the holiday season? We're business. We're not a charity. You know, besides, I think that's the PR department problem. <laughs> this is probably how they really be having conversations too in the office. <laughs> like okay. anyone else, they got anything. They don't really care to how we can continue. To, they don't care about the people you know, at the bottom. Man. Raise our margin. That's working hard we for their could companies. Cut benefits. Okay, that's a good idea. Anybody else? What about uh, raising drug prices? Lexamide just got FDA approval to go to market. The cancer drug. Yeah. But we produced it for about $195 per dose or $780 for the full recommended course. But comparable drugs are on the market for a full course or $50,000. But the company's mission was to provide more affordable and accessible health care. <laughs> but don't forget, patients won't have to pay the full cost. It's, it's crazy that the daughter's sitting there listening to her dad talk about all this. Like... Greedy. <laughs> you say greedy? I say that's genius. 
know, the that's probably what they be man. doing too. They probably be sitting there. <laughs> Let's raise the price on these niggas. Like they probably be sitting there laughing and shit for real in real life. I ain't gonna lie. Like this is some real shit. I tell you, it's thinking like that that keeps Dan my number one. <laughs> Selfish motherfuckers. Hey, Dan, you did a great job in there. You keep that up, I see a promotion coming up in the future. All right, honey, you ready to go? Why would you do that? Do what? Fire all these people. Shh, oh, keep your voice down. Look, like I said before, in business, the fact that the daughter understands sure. this, this is just is like, cost of that. It tells what her intelligence level. Like prices, in a real situation like this, drugs. like well, that's, that's crazy. Not something for you to worry about, okay? If someone gets sick, it'll be covered. Look, companies like mine do this stuff all the time because money's have, a priority. Got it. Hey, you're my priority, no matter what. Money comes second, always. Okay. Now come on, let's go get you that doll. <laughs> money can't buy happiness, <laughs> and that's a fact. I'm pretty sure we all know this. That didn't take long. <laughs> hey, they got a protest too. Isn't that your office? Those people look really upset. Don't worry about that. It's just a bunch of people that have nothing better to do than whine all day. Come on. She hey, figured out everything. She wants that this. doll now. Go ahead and uh, pick out whatever doll you want. Mike, hey. Hey, Dan. I'm here Not her feeling guilty for the people outside. And I want you uh, to know that we're going um, through the new protesting. projections that we just got from finance. Well, they got and some it's champagne. Of you and your suggestion to raise those drug prices that uh, we're going to hit a new record. Great job, Dan. I can finally get that Porsche I've always wanted. Anything to help the company, sir? Yeah, well, we just popped some champagne, and I want you in my office tomorrow at 9 a.m. sharp because I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about that holiday bonus. Tell you, Dan, you're gonna be a happy man. It's great to hear. Listen, I saw some of the news coverage on the protests and uh Hey, don't worry about that, Dan. You just worry about yourself. You worry about this company. And if you keep this up, I can see you driving into the sunset with that new Porsche that you want. All right? So listen, I'll see you here tomorrow. <sighs> he think about that Porsche. You wanted to be Holly? selfish as hell, boy. Holly. Holly! Holly! Please! Her illness, help! Bro. Help! Holly! Now nah, he want help. He want help, help but he don't somebody. care about all the people though. Leukemia? How was that possible? She's 10. She's healthy. She doesn't even have any symptoms. If I may ask, have you noticed she's been bruising more easily? No. Any uh, red spots on your skin? No, nothing like that. Any nosebleeds? I mean, maybe once in a blue moon? Actually, I've been getting them every week. If you weren't working so much, you would know that. Damn. I am so sorry, sweetheart. I should have taken it more seriously. Well, there's good news. See, now that's cra that's crazy up. as hell to me. Like, there's just no way that a parent, like, I can understand like the toys and the gifts and all that. Like, if you're if 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 like you're not wanting to do all that, put that as a priority. Like, depending on your living situation, but no matter what the living situation, if your child is has a medical condition or is experiencing something like that, don't you put everything aside for that? Like. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like where that comes work. before anything, before rent, fact, before bills, before anything, there's right? New medication on the market, Lexamide. Isn't that the drug your company makes? I should warn you, it's not cheap. They just raise their prices. <laughs> he got a lot. He got a use. I uh, 
Oh, Actually, shit. I love Dark Man videos, bro. You can't make this up, but it is made up. Like, damn, the drug company, he just raised the prices on. He got to buy his own drugs to treat his daughter, bro. Now he finna see what it's like to be in other people's shoes, bro. Oh, my God. You work for the company, so uh, I can get it for free. We just have to do whatever it takes to make sure my baby girl's okay. Okay, for today's visit, your total is? It's fine, just put it all on my card. Okay. What, what do you mean insurance won't cover it? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Leximide falls outside of your policy, so it's considered an out-of-pocket cost. But it's $50,000. Where am I supposed to find that kind of money? <sighs> um... I'm not sure what to tell you. I can speak to someone about a payment plan or if there's loans. Yeah. Loans? Oh, I don't know. The last thing I need is more debt. <sighs> Things are stressful enough as it is. Um, well, uh, you can speak to your doctor about alternative treatments. There are no alternatives. We tried chemo, radiation. This is the only thing left. This is the last thing that might save my daughter's life. Please, please, please do something. Damn, and I know the workers behind the desk could be hard for them because they can't, they have no control over that. You know what I mean? Like, damn. He, he's showing empathy right now. He's putting this up in their shoes. Let me ask you something. Are you a parent? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Okay, well, imagine yourself in my situation with your child's life on the line. And the only thing that might save your daughter's life you can't afford to buy. Tell me how would that make you feel? Speak up, man! No more green! 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 No Not the guy. No <laughs> oh, <more green>. <laughs> <laughs> man, funny, bro. I'm sorry, y'all, but not the guy. Not the guy holding the green has no place here. They <laughs> ain't that the guy that was working for the company. <laughs> These gotta be employees, bro. All of them gotta be employees that got fired to 25%, bro. What do you want me to do? Man. Look, I know it's a big ask, but raising drug prices as much as we did was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. I've never seen the board happier. But the decisions we make here affect real people. There was a woman and her daughter at the hospital, and she couldn't afford board. Oh, come on, Dan. Everybody's got a sob story. Look. Damn. It's not our problem if they he get don't sick. give a damn for real. In fact, the sicker they get, it helps our bottom line. I now know what Alex was Bro, talking about. Isn't that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is exposing. This is exposing the medical market or the drug market, whatever the case may be, because they say it is the most expensive market in the world. Because this this shit really, really happens. Like this is crazy right now. Bro. Our business is supposed to help people. Our business is to make money. That's why I hired you. You're a shark, Dan. To eat or be eaten. Sharks don't swim around worrying about the opinions of the fish that they eat. But that's the point. Patients are not fish. They're, They're human people. beings. Yeah. Real people. That part. All right, Dan, where's this coming from? You didn't have a problem taking their money during the last meeting. I uh found out some news, and let's just say things have changed. I've changed. So please, lower prices again. It may even turn out to be good for business when people realize how much we care about our customers and their concerns. We have a chance to do the right thing. Let's not miss it. <gasps> you got me a new OMG dog? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Thanks, Dad. Wait, how'd you have the time to get this? Weren't you at work all day? No, uh, I didn't go in today because I quit. What? So, how are we gonna get my medicine now? Hey, don't worry about that. I got plenty of savings. 
I thought you liked your job. I did, but I didn't like the person I was becoming by being there. Mm. A very smart girl reminded me that people matter more than money. Facts. Once I remembered that, money can't be replaced, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, money can be replaced. People can't. You feel me? Money comes and goes. People don't like you like people come and go in your life. But what I mean is you can't you only get one life, bro. You can't replace that. So cherish the people that are in your life, the people you love, all of those things that comes before everything, bro. I'm telling you, like, that's how I've always been as a person. And I'm always going to be that way. Like, that's just genuinely how I am. People cannot be replaced in your life. Okay, so what are you going to do now? What I should have been doing all along. <laughs> and he created his own business. Yeah. He going to help everybody. He bringing back all the people that he worked with. And I haven't muted right now because I don't want to get copyrighted by the music on here. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but... Just know some peaceful music in the background and everything looks good. Like they're building a better future together. Holly's Hope, he named it after his own daughter and they creating a better business for people to be able to afford healthcare is what it looks like. So I like this in general. <laughs> they lowered that price all the way down, baby. Hey, the insurance, any kind of insurance gonna cover that. 30, that, from 1200 to $39? Sheesh. I can tell that the music's still on because <laughs> because I know Dark Man videos and also like they're in slow motion right now. So I can I can tell definitely. They're putting up all the signs and everything. Business is booming. That's a risk that you do gotta take when it comes to uh doing business and everything. Here we go, audio back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they had to get the last scene out the way with the doctor. Everything's a okay. She's good now. Okay. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. Sorry, I was rudely interrupted. If you wanna, he pissed about that business. <laughs> I try to stop him. What do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Mike. I wasn't expecting you. Holly's hope. Trying to acquire Zertax. Pharmaceutical? Are you <laughs> Not him throwing your the mind? papers on the desk like nigga? You think your little <laughs> startup here is gonna come up against my company? You got something else? Not out of my mind. Just out to do better. That's all. And it's working. This little startup has generated more revenue in Q1 than Zertax ever did. And according to your last shareholder meeting. Company is projected to continue taking massive losses throughout the next few years. And they and they hired the Looks lady like that was in the hospital with her daughter. Caught up to you. Who is this? Uh, I have a voice. I'm Lauren, head of patient advocacy. And most importantly, a parent of a survivor, just like me. When I started the company, I asked her to come on because we both believe that people matter more than money. And that strategy paid off. Big time. <laughs> and they're helping the community. You think you're gonna pull this off? You gonna put me out of a job? <laughs> you said it yourself. I'm a shark, and sharks eat small fish. Oh shit! He's standing on business this time. He ain't no small fish. He a full course meal. But I mean, go crazy, my brother. Go crazy. <laughs> W episode, man. As always, look, 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 look. I love these Dark Man videos, bro. These motherfuckers go crazy, okay? I be having shit that I want to say in the video, though. Like, I want to be going crazy. You know, I like y'all know I'm a goofball. Like, I like to talk shit and all that. But, you know, I, I, I know these are real, you know, actors and shit, and they just act at times. So, I don't be trying to go too crazy. But, hey, original video always be in the description down below. And while you guys are down there, if you'd like to follow me on my other channel or any of my social medias, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for the support, as always. And I will see you guys in the next one, baby. Peace.